We will now take this as an opportunity to revisit the difference between association and causation from another perspective. So, we just got this equality using the truncated factorization and this causal graph. And we know that, in general, p of y given do t is not equal to p of y given t. To see this, let's move this down a bit. And now we're going to take this p of x and change it to p of x given t. Okay, so just bear with me while I do this calculation. Now that we've conditioned this x on t, we can merge these two factors together into p of y comma x given t, and we can marginalize x out. So this is actually equal to p of y given t. Okay, so we have p of y given do t, and we have p of y given t. And one perspective on the difference between these two is just that the p of y given do t has this p of x here that we're multiplying by, and the p of y given t has p of x given t. So the point of this perspective is that the difference between p of y given do t and p of y given t is just this difference here, where we don't condition on t for the factor for x, or we do condition on t for the factor for x, p of x given t.